This morning is a Saturday morning and it's very wet. You're having a medical outreach here in Port Harcourt in one of the redeemed Christian Church of God parishes. I think they call it King Jesus Parish. And I was invited to come and speak as one of the doctors that will be speaking and attending to patients. I was supposed to start speaking by 8 a.m. But because of the rain, I think the speaking will no longer hold. We'll just go ahead and do the medical outreach proper. And I hope they have enough medications because experience have showed me that in most medical outreaches like this, especially when you're doing it in a community, in a village, the amount of persons that turn up are more than the medications they have. So I just pray they have common medications, enough medications, especially anti-malaria and anti-hypertensive medication because those are the commonest illnesses you're likely to see. So I'll take you guys around all through the time I'll be here and you see how the outreach here is done. Stay tuned. All right, you're about to start. The people are coming in gradually. We have few persons now. I believe any moment from now they'll begin to come in. So it's a very small setup you can see. Not to be, yes, my colleague, we are doing it together. Uh, we're having some little kind of help to Sign, no cause, nothing. Be very quiet. That's why, that's why the baby is called the silent killer. 
You feel so good. You feel wonderful. And they say, but they may go play ball. But people say, go uh, pitch. Play well. Play well. Well, well that's something <coughs> they do. Something they happen. It's, 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 it tricks. You understand? That's how you say, you can only go for check up. You can walk into the hospital and say, please check up with me. Most of them are going to go around. You know, check up. Hmm? Oh, you don't do this thing. For sure money, for sure money. You look at him, look at him. You surrender, go check up with me. What can you say? Body still there, okay. Don't just move like that without checking. And uh, I think you should cut it early because you are not allowed to cut it down. But when you don't bring it up, the pressure on the plane keeps going higher. Travel costs is that. That's what it costs. Most times you catch it early and give drugs. That's when it gets alright. You don't have to follow up on the patient. Is there any way you need to catch it early that you can have trouble and all that? Please, what's that? Somebody has. So I'm seated and ready. We are still doing the medical sensitization. I'm just seated and waiting and ready to attend to cases whenever they want to start at home. So consultations are started and in the next two hours we should be out of here. Thank you. 
So we are done. It was a nice one, not as hectic as I thought. It was a small outreach. Maybe because of the rain, many people didn't come. So we have so many drugs left. Right now, they are just giving people some medications to take home because the drugs are more than the people that came. But all in all, it was a nice one. I like the orderliness. People were organized. Everybody were seated, calm. Nobody was rushing, unlike other places. So it's okay. It's my time to go home. And I enjoyed myself and I believe those that came to they enjoyed their time with us. Oh, yeah.